All right, guys, it's race day. Uh, just got up, I mean, an hour ago or whatever, but today we got the Indy 500 and the Coke 600. It's going to be a long, long day of racing, so. Whew. Uh, even though I'm not here to talk about that, I'm talking about last night's uh, wrestling event and uh, a little bit hungover this morning. <laughs> Had a little bit too many beers last night, but I'll be all right in a few hours. But, uh, wow. Last night, the AEW double or nothing. What a pay-per-view. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting a decent pay-per-view, but nothing like that. I mean, it, it was amazing. The crowd was just so much into it. You could feel the energy. It's just unreal. Yeah, we started off with the pre-show, which we had about a royal, and, uh, which Hangman Page won, won, won that. And then we went to the pay-per-view. And we had a lot of uh, cool things happen. Uh, the, every match was just top-notch. Uh, Cody versus Dustin. Man, that was a, such a super good match. Uh, yeah, Dustin had blood everywhere. Where he got where he going, you know, of course he cut himself. But still, he had blood everywhere. Uh, and uh, Cody had like a throne. And got like a... Uh, hammer and beat it up and I feel like it was kind of a uh, say hey WWE we're here we're here for real and uh, then we had the women's match which was awesome the tag team matches was great the Young Bucks, LaRicha Brothers put on a hell of a show and uh, the Jericho Omega I mean great match great match and then at the end we had John Moxley show up which Dean Ambrose uh, I, I mean it was just amazing but yeah a lot of people doubted this a lot of people think thought it was going to be a joke they didn't consider competition to WWE now I'm not putting down WWE because I grew up with it <clears throat> it's just right now WWE's washed down they gotta get Triple H out of there and uh, Stephanie McMahon. Vince, if he wants to compete with this new company here, he's going to have to step up his game. Because, uh, I mean, that was unreal last night. That's just like the talk of the of the weekend was the AEW event. It's unreal. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's just like the, the money in the bank pay-per-view for WWE. You just couldn't feel no energy. There was no energy. It was boring. Hey, Brock, Brock Lesnar... Uh, you know, I mean, it, just nothing special, nothing happening. They've got away from it. Now, AEW's got surprises coming in, uh, like Moxley coming through the crowd and all that. That remind me of Scott Hall back in the WCW days when he come through that crowd. It's just, the energy's there. They've got people who wants it. You can see it. And, uh, and they're just going to get better and better. And this guy, Tony Khan, owns this company is just as rich as Vince McMahon. So people are laughing at it, saying they're going to fail. Let me tell you what. There ain't going to be no failing with AEW. It's it's going to go, and it's going to go high. So let the wars begin. Maybe WWE will get off their ass and actually do something instead of sitting around playing around. And uh, get some good matches in there. Because uh, the fans have spoken. We're bored of the the same matches every year. Triple H, Triple H, or Brock Lesnar versus the uh, same old crap every single weekend. So, yeah, congratulations, AW. Awesome, awesome. So let's have a good race day, too. Don't forget to put your picks in the contest on my YouTube channel. So everybody have a good one. See you later.